So guess what happened? I recorded almost half this video, like all the way until I applied one lash without my mic on. So I'm gonna voice it over until we get to the part where I actually turned my mic on, or I'm gonna see how the footage sounds. It's probably gonna sound shitty, cause I don't even know if it picks up sound when your mic is plugged in and not turned on. I don't even know. But if you see my lips talking, you're not missing out on anything. I just forgot to turn my mic on when we started this video. Yeah. I. I don't even know how that happened. So this is the look that we're going to do today. I asked you guys yesterday on my Instagram if you wanted to see like a more creative holiday, Halloween-y, non-wearable look or a more wearable look. And to my surprise, you guys wanted to see a more wearable look. Now don't worry, I am going to do some creative looks. Um, I just kind of like to get a gauge of what you guys want to see first. And so many of you told me that you already have holiday parties to go to this weekend. So I wanted to do a more wearable look first and then we'll kind of amp it up towards the end. I just can't believe people have like holiday parties to go to already. Like I'm like, it's December 5th. What? I say in the video, you can pair this look with any lip you want. I didn't want to do a red lip for this look yet because I have another look in mind that I want to do for a red lip. So this is just going to be a quick, easy kind of one shadow type of look. If you're in a rush, if you have to go straight from work to a holiday party, you can throw this on really easy and look super cute. So if you guys want to hang out with me for the next couple of minutes or so, why we transform into this, then I would love it. I still can't believe I forgot to turn on my mic. <sighs> to prep the skin, I'm gonna start with the Patchology Aqua Flash, I believe this is called. I'm really into this moisturizer. I love how it smells. And my skin was feeling a little extra dry this past week because I just got a Hydra Facial and my facialist has been working up my skin's tolerance to peels. So the last time I went, she did a little bit of a stronger peel, so I was feeling a little extra dry, and I feel like this Aqua Flash really helped my skin feel better. For my primer, I'm still really into the Farsali Skin Tune. This is just a smoothing serum for the skin, so I just throw a couple dots on my face and then pat it into my skin. Really, really like it. I like that it's also lightweight because it doesn't add like an extra layer before your foundation. For foundation, I'm using the Dior Skin Forever Foundation. This is definitely one of my top five foundations ever, but as you can see, we totally ran out of it in this video. I think I spent a good 15 to 20 minutes trying to get just enough out of the bottle because I honestly felt like there was so much more in there. I just could not get to it, so I just worked with what I had, a few little dots. Honestly, you do not need that much of this foundation. I think that the coverage is amazing. It feels super lightweight. I, don't, I think it's a little more on the matte side, but I can never really tell because I always set my foundation anyway but this, like I said, top five foundation ever. I'm still so mad that my mic wasn't on. For our eyes today, we're going to use the Dose of Colors Eye Duo. I really like these little guys. They have like a cream base on one end and then inside they have like a loose pigment or a glitter or something to just jazz it all up in general. So I'm using it in the shade Disco. And for this look, I am going to use the base. I've used it without the base, with the base. This guy, I'm gonna use it with it because I feel like I like the color combo because the base is a little more on the gold side and then the shimmer glitter situation is more on the silver side so I like those two combos together feel free to throw a crease color in here if you wish like I said I was just trying to keep it easy in case you were in a rush and had to get to a holiday party you could totally get away without wearing any color in your crease but if you feel more comfortable throw it in there I'm using the same brush and I'm just switching sides to pack the pigment on top and voila we have disco eyes the name is just too perfect All right, I'm about to get my life back together and turn my mic on after realizing it was off. So the only thing you need to know is that I'm using Batty B lashes in the style Batty, and now this voiceover is done. <laughs> I'm big. Oh. 
mad, okay? My mic hasn't been on this whole f***ing time. <sighs> That's that bullshit, Nicole. Okay, don't let it put you in a bad mood. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so again, I'm going to, first there's like little extra pieces, so I just like to trim those off first if they have them. I cannot believe my mic wasn't on. I'm so mad, don't be mad. La 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 la. And then I'm gonna cut like a jumbo chunk off the end of this, so I'm probably gonna cut it to like here. See, I take a pretty big chunk off the end. <laughs> But what you like to do is you're just gonna wanna give your lash a second to dry because if you put it on right now, like when it's sopping wet, it's just gonna slip and slide all over your eye. You might glue your eye shut. You're gonna get mad, not gonna wanna wear lashes. So to make it easier on yourself, just give it a second to be a little tacky. It's gonna be a lot easier for you to apply it. And if you're putting these lashes on yourself, feel free to blow on them. But if you're like a starting out makeup artist, I wouldn't blow on them because you don't wanna be like <sighs> and then go stick it on somebody's eye because they're gonna be like, she doing so but if it's your lash blow away most of the time I just like do the fanning motion don't give it too much time though because your lash might dry <laughs> and then just squish it together and then I like to push it up I'd rather have the lash be a little shorter on the end because then it still gives this appearance there's nothing worse than when you put on a lash and it makes your eye even more droopy so like I feel like if I had this on this would be down here like this and then it would make my eyes turn down so I like them to go up so even if it is a little shorter on the ends it's fine because it's gonna just kind of give yourself like a little eye lift and have your eyes turned up instead of turned down so if you ever have a lash and it's like down here girl take it off and trim it off because it's just gonna it's gonna make your eyes droop and you don't want that you don't want droopy eyes you want big open eyes so moving on to concealer I'm going to use the Jouer concealer I'm super impressed with this concealer I think I mentioned it in my last video but I was nervous to use it because I felt like it was a thick formula it's a high coverage formula but on it it says it's creaseless soft matte and it has hyaluronic acid in it and I'm gonna use it in the shade toast it's not as heavy as I thought it was going to be um, and it does make your under eye look super smooth. Um, I just, I don't know how they can still like put creaseless on stuff. Like, come on. Most of this will get blended out. It's just habit. I'd be trying to wear less concealer, but it just, <laughs> okay, we'll blend with this. So I just switch it up on like what I blend out. Make sure that was like concealer and not eyeshadow on there. I just switch it up on what I blend my concealers out with. As you can see, like, look how soft that blends out. So it's really nice. So I always just like to do the edges of my concealer first. We're going to go over this with a bigger brush. But I just like to do my edges first and then kind of get in here. Padding motions. This is also going to clean up any of that fallout that we might have had from the pigment. Pull it all the way back. And then I guess I'm doing like little tiny circular motions. If you have like any larger pores on your face, if you hit it with this little circular motion, it kind of disguises those little pores and gives a more airbrushed appearance. So I also like to go right up in here because I, like, I feel like it gets dark in there. I most of the time hit it with the P. Louise base, but I like to drag a little concealer up there as well too. Really nice concealer. I like to do it right here under the nose too so we don't get red. And I'm just gonna take the brush that we put our foundation with and tap that over top. But, I mean, look at that concealer. Look at that concealer. I think you can see my pores happening right here. So if I start swirling this, you can see they kind of just disappear. I don't know why, it's magic. And then I'm going to set with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. This is Charlotte's Genius Magic Powder for under eye and face. And it is a soft, focusing, light, diffusing, loose powder. And I'm using it in the shade two, which is fair medium. Oh, it still smells weird. <laughs> you wanna make sure you tap out any creases, otherwise you're just gonna set the crease under your under eye if you don't tap it out. And then light pressure, just apply some powder. I don't know why, but I like to start from the outer edge and work my way in. And then kind of flush it out. 
I don't bake. I don't feel like it's necessary for me. Oh, so pretty. And then as of lately, I've been using this Bare Minerals foundation. So it is a foundation. It's like a powder foundation. I've just been using this to kind of set the rest of my face with. I just think it looks I don't know, flawless. I mean, probably because it's just like a double layer of foundation. But I take just a little bit and then kind of work it on. I don't... Hold on. <laughs> I don't use it with the Bare Minerals brush because I don't want like intense coverage. I just think that it is like a really good powder to set your foundation with. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you'll remember that I used to set with the Studio Fix Powder from MAC, which is again a powder foundation. So it just adds like an extra flawless layer to your face. But that was really heavy and I would break out from it. And this Bare Minerals powder I feel like is super light and it just makes you look so like airbrushed. And I figure that you guys would want to be like extra flawless at a holiday party because I'm assuming lots of pictures are being taken. So don't feel the need to have to set with a powder foundation. It's just one extra step you can do to make your makeup look better than everybody else's. <laughs> you guys know I'm going to use this Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder bronzer. This is in Saffron Sun. I don't know if it comes in other colors or if it's even still available. I just really like this bronzer. In my last video, we used that KKW Beauty blush in the shade Grace, and I liked it, so I was like, I got these other blushes, let's try them. So, okay, not that shade. <laughs> I've been using the shade Grace a lot, which I feel like is just like a natural flush to the cheek. I got it a little too close to my under eye. So I'm gonna do a little bit of highlight. I've been more into just like a matte look, so I haven't been doing a little, a lot of highlighting. I just mainly do it on like my nose and stuff because I like the little tips. So I'm gonna use this Smashbox the Spotlight Palette, which I'm pretty sure is Casey Holmes collab with them. I'm gonna take this first shade here and just do a little, a little on my nose, like a little highlight. So I swear this is the only shade that I want to wear in my waterline. Again, this is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Limitless Brown. I just, I can't get enough of it. I like it with my brown eyes. So I'm just going to pop this in the waterline and then a little underneath. I swear it's a different color underneath my eye than it is in my waterline. And then we're going to use a little bit of the Boo Boo shade, which is that brown shade from the Sigma beauty bird collab and then i'm just gonna add a little bit of that down there okay i guess it's not a one eyeshadow look anymore is it you can basically do any color lip with you that you want with this um for a more classic holiday you could go with a red lip i'm not gonna do a red lip because i have another look that i want to do with a red lip but i'm sure that it would look amazing with this eye i'm going to do like more of like a cool mauve tone lip just some little different not what people would expect but i still think it's super cute so i'm first gonna align my lips and i think this is in the shade kylie I don't have my glasses on. Yeah, Kylie. It's kind of hard to drink coffee and then do lip liner because I'm like. <laughs> and then for the lip, we are going to use this matte lipstick and it's in the shade Really Me. It says it's a matte lip, but it doesn't feel matte. It feels actually really comfortable. So you could leave it like this, but. Come on, you guys, you know me, you know me. So I'm gonna take this Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in the shade Tease, and we're just gonna add a little bit of this. So I'm gonna just dab it. Blend it out a little. So we're not super glossy, we're just a little glossy. So after your lip is on, this look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this fresh holiday glam. Again, you can wear this look with any lip your heart desires. I just, I don't, I really like, I really like this lip. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you super soon in a new video. Bye guys.